dear students welcome to services classes my name is ashmita and in today's class we are going to talk about the qsat cat entrance examination now cochin university of science and technology common entrance test which is popularly known as qsat cat is conducted every year for admission to certain courses in the university now in this class we are going to talk about the entire details about qsat cat and what's the exam syllabus what's the uh, what uh, what are the important dates uh, how you can apply to this uh, entrance examination and what's the exam pattern uh, how you will be able to see the results and everything about this entrance examination so let's start now the test level uh, or the standard of uh, questions that you are um about to answer in this uh, entrance examination shall be university level and uh, this examination is taken to offer you programs for under graduation that is for graduation you are to um, give this entrance examination for undergraduate programs you are to take this examination now uh, this examination shall be taken online that is through cbt mode computer based test certain dates are out um, and uh, those are not yet fixed but rather i would say those are tentative dates and that can be fixed but it is not yet sure but still i would share the dates with you all because you all are preparing well for your entrance examinations and that's why you need an idea um about when uh, your examination is going to take place and when you can apply for it so a basic idea would help you out a lot in your preparation so that's why i'm going to tell you all the dates now here the application process is going to start for this year in the month of march date uh, isn't been scheduled yet and the closing date uh, would fall in the month of march only so this month of march shall be the time when you will be able to apply for this examination now the remittance fee uh, should be paid online and it is to be paid in the month of april closing date to apply online with late fee shall be done um, by the month of april last date to submit the form for mtech shall be in the month of april last date to submit the form with late fee for mtech will also be in the month of april qsat cat admit card issuing date shall fall uh, somewhere between may to june so between may uh, month of may to month of june you are to get your admit card the qsat common admission test uh, shall be taken in the month of june so june uh, is the month in which this examination is to be taking place the qsat cat uh, result declaration date shall fall in the month of may and the counseling process starts from the month of june now let us talk mm -hmm. about the application form uh, fill up in details it is expected that uh, the qsat uh, cat application form will be released uh, tentatively by the month of march and applicants are required to access the online application form from the qsat official website and they also have to submit it before the last date of submission now in the application form of the qsat cat you have to provide several personal as well as your educational details you have to upload certain specific documents and you also have to pay the application fee in the last now i have mentioned about the official website uh, a lot many times but i haven't told the website yet the name of the website it's admissions.cusat.ac.in once again i would repeat it's admissions.cusat.ac.in that's the official website where you can go and fill up the application form next i'm going to tell you how to Uh, fill up your application form step by step without making any mistake the first step that you need to follow is registration you you need to register yourself as a candidate who will be giving this examination now this is the initial step to apply for the qsat cat and by providing some basic details such as your um, 
name then active phone number or mobile number whatever you have valid email id and other personal information which is asked as per requirement um, for your registration at the registration time uh, applicants can give all these details and then only they can register themselves online once the candidates have entered all their details they will have to click on the submit button now the, uh, clicking on the submit button shall help you successfully submit the registration form and after the successful registration you will get information regarding the completion of registration on your registered mobile number and email id the next step that you can follow is filling the detailed application that's uh, the that means that you have to fill up the form after completion of your registration process um, all the applicants will have to provide the details in the application form such as uh, your own name your details your parents details then your communication address educational qualification and several required details that you can follow is uploading images or documents applicants will have to upload their scanned copy of signature and also recent passport uh, size color photograph Applicants pertaining to the reserved category will need to upload their category certificate as proof also, which is issued by the uh, by any accountable authority. Now, the format of the scanned copies of the documents, uh, such as signature, then photo, and certificates, must be as per the suggested uh, specifications, which is produced by the university. The next thing that you have to do is your course selection. Applicants will have to choose the course for which they want to enroll themselves. Once the course will be chosen, then no changes will be altered. So then, uh, so you have to select the course very carefully. Next would be to pay your application fees. After completing your uh, like form fill up and after registering yourself and uh, applying through the application form and filling up the application form, you need to successfully submit the application form. Now, successful submission is only possible if you pay the application fee in online mode using uh, options like credit uh, credit card payment then or debit card payment or net banking payment anything you follow but you have to follow it online the next step that you can uh, follow is the selection of exam city now applicants will have to choose the desired exam city in which they want to appear for the qsat cat examination Applicants are suggested to choose the nearest exam cities to their local residence so that they can avoid travel, uh, too much of travel, uh, travel before the examination. Final submission of the form can be done only after uh, everything is uh, paid and all the details are filled in. It is recommended to all the candidates to download the filled in QSAT CAT application form and also to take a hard cop copy of it and also to keep a copy of the receipt of payment. Next, I'm going to tell you what documents do you actually require uh, while filling up the application form. Uh, you need the class uh, 10th mark sheet and your certificate and or certificate, uh, class 12th mark sheet or your certificate, then uh, candidates who are appearing for this uh, class 12 examination, they have to show their class 10th mark sheet or, or rather they have to keep a scanned copy of their 10th uh, mark sheet because they cannot show their class 12th mark sheet. You, you will uh, require scanned copies of documents such as uh, the applicant's photograph, then the signature, any uh, card through which you are going to pay and your photo ID proof like your Aadhaar card or your bank passbook or your ration card or any other um, legal document then uh, you should be having an active mobile number and an email id now signature shall be in jpeg or jpg format and the size of the scanned uh, picture of the signature shall be between 10 to 100 kb the photograph uh, shall be scanned uh, in jpeg or jpg format and it should be between 10 to 500 kb the documents that is uh, your category certificate uh, and or your um, class 10th uh, mark sheet and your class 12th mark sheet that all should those all uh, those documents shall be in pdf format 
and the size of the PDF shall be 10 KB to 1 MB. Application form fees are different for different categories. For, um, for SCST category candidates, you have to pay Rs. 500. Now, if you are applying for diploma courses or certificate courses, you have to uh, pay Rs. 100. If you are applying for PhD or MPhil course, then you have to pay Rs. 1000. Um, candidates who are uh, opting for AIQ, that is All India Quota Seats, then you have to pay Rs. 1000. Students who are uh, applying from the NRI quota category, they, they have to pay Rs. 5000. Children of Indian Gulf workers, they, uh, they, if they are applying, they have to pay Rs. 6100. Rupees. If these children are from the SCST category candidates of uh, Kerala state, then they have to pay Rs. 5500. Rupees. International candidates shall have to pay Rs. 7000. Rupees. Candidates opting for Dubai as test center, they have to pay rupees 10,000. Next, we are going to talk about the eligibility criteria. Now, if you are applying for certain courses, you have to be eligible for those. For uh, BA LLB honors course or for BCom LLB honors course, your qualification should be class 10 pass. For BA LLB Honours or BCom LLB Honours, your qualification shall be Class 12 Pass and you have to secure 55% marks if you are from the Arts or the Commerce stream. If you are applying for the BTEC with Integrated uh, MSc course, then, you, then your qualification shall be Class 12 Pass with a minimum aggregate of 50% marks and 50% marks in mathematics subjects from any recognized board or institute. If you are applying for the BTEC Marine Engineering course, then your qualification shall be class 12 pass with a minimum of an aggregate of 60% marks in physics, chemistry, mathematics, and 50% marks in mathematics subjects from any recognized board or institute. If you are applying for the LLM courses, then your qualification shall be a bachelor's degree in law with a minimum of an aggregate of 45% marks from, an, uh, from any recognized university or any institute. So that was the entire details regarding this entrance examination. If you are uh, preparing for this entrance examination and if you want to take admission here through this uh, by qualifying this entrance examination, then definitely you need the guidance of a better mentor and a better coach. And here at Sorovsis classes, we provide you with live lectures, recorded classes, crash course facilities, scholarship facilities, doubt clearing sessions, and mock tests also. We also provide solutions to the previous year's question papers. We provide solutions to the unsolved papers and sample papers. Uh, we also provide you with uh, solve study materials which are available on Amazon and Flipkart. You can directly buy from there. Or if you want to prepare yourself for any other entrance examination or other competitive examination, then also you can contact us. Now, how can you contact us? You have to check the description box below and there you will get our contact number. Do contact us and uh, we are here to help you out and clear all your doubts. So even if you are preparing for some other entrance examination, then also we are going to provide you with all the guidance and study materials. So that was all about our classes. If you want to know more about our classes, then you can check the link which is given in the description box below. That's the link to the official website of Sorovsis uh, classes. That is www.sorovsisclasses.com. That's the official website from where you can enroll yourself also as well as you can get a glimpse of our classes. You can also enroll yourself by calling us and then uh, getting enrolled in our institute. So that was all about our classes and that was all for today's class also. We are going to meet once again in our next classes.